Hi there. So in this video, we are going to draw line plot in MATLAB. So let's start with our formula for X array. So for X, I'm going to start from zero to let's say pi by 100 and then up to two pi pi. Okay. So this is my value for X. And as you can see, I get all these value up to two zero one rows. Now, for y, I want to use, let's say, sine of this x array, okay? And I get, again, 201 rows in my y-axis. So x and y-axis values in our x and y array, okay? I'm going to use a figure command now. This will create the empty window that will have my line plot. Now, to draw plot, I simply need to type plot function and then point to x and y array okay and let's take a look at my figure here and as you can see it draws my line plot okay this is based on the values within x and y arrays okay now what if you want to draw multiple line plot okay now for that let's clear the workspace and also clear command okay now here let's start with array x1 here i'm going to use formula line space so from minus 2 into pi and 2 into pi okay and that will have my x1 value then for y1 i'm going to use sine of x1 okay and also add z1 which will have cos of one okay so now that we have these three values I can use simply this figure command okay and we will have the empty figure right now and now for a plot I'm going to use x1 y1 then x1 z1 this will draw multiple line plots in my figure window as you can see it has values with respect to x1 y1 and x1 z1 okay you can also draw plot from a matrix okay for that let's clear workspace and commands okay now let's say a is my matrix with let's say one dimensional values one two three four five six okay now let's also add b and we will add values as 5 6 7 8 then 9 and 10 okay we have these two matrix and we are going to simply use another one to add a plus 2 and we will create total three matrix and our c matrix has value which is basically addition of two in the values in our matrix A. Now I'm going to use plot and simply call for my matrix B and I can put the grid on. So use plot and then B. Okay. And let's check out. You get total a linear line in your plot. Okay. And you can put grid on so that you can see how it looks with respect to grid. Okay, you can print this into PNG or JPG if you want as well. Okay, so we have taken a look at a regular line plot, then multiple line plot, then plot from matrix values.